New at 530, we want to talk about a painful condition affecting one in every 10 women. It's called endometriosis. Experts say it can take years to get diagnosed. That's because so little is known about the condition, even though it impacts so many of us. But now there's some new research hoping to change that. For years, Anna Delegati has been coping with symptoms so debilitating, getting through her day as a gym teacher can be challenging. Heavy bleeding, really extreme pain, cramping, almost feels like a stabbing. After years of being dismissed, Anna learned endometriosis runs in her family. She decided to have laparoscopic surgery, the only way to diagnose the condition currently. Also mentally, it takes such a toll where before the diagnosis, you don't know what's wrong with you and you don't have people listening to you, so you think that you're being overdramatic. She's among more than 3,000 women enrolled in a clinical trial at Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research. The goal is to develop a non-invasive way to diagnose the condition. There are tissues that reflect the lining of the uterus, which we have found to be different in patients who are unaffected with endometriosis versus patients with endometriosis. And we can collect menstrual blood samples from patients who are symptomatic and look for those differences. Dr. Christine Metz is in charge of the research. She hopes it will lead to a new FDA approved method, much less invasive than surgery. Currently, patients wait seven to 10 years to be diagnosed and we're hoping that we could get this finalized and ready for the population within the next few years. Even after surgery, which can also treat the condition, Anna still struggles with bleeding and pain. I never want anyone to go through what I went through. So if I could be even the smallest part in changing that, that's the most amazing feeling ever. Researchers say they hope this study will also help develop new treatments for endometriosis.